Program, we'll discover the difference between day and night. Take a trip to the cinema. Look inside an animal's eye. See how the Victorians played tricks with light. And Carol's in the science lab to see how light travels. In Science Tube. Have you ever thought about the difference between daytime and nighttime? At night, without the sources of light humans have made, it would be completely black and impossible to see. During the evening, the sunlight goes from the sky. But where does it go? Well, to answer that, we need to get away. Out into space, near the sun. The burning gases of the sun are Earth's source of daylight. The sun shines into space towards the Earth. But look more carefully at the Earth. Can you see it spinning? Every 24 hours, the Earth spins round once. But that means that at any time, only one part of the Earth is facing towards the sun. Let's bring the Sun and Earth close together to get a better look. The Sun shines onto the spinning Earth. As the Earth spins in front of the Sun, the side facing the Sun is in the light. For people in countries on the light side, it's daytime. But as the Earth continues to spin, their side moves on round away from the Sun. It becomes evening in these countries, and then night. And it gets light every morning because the part of the world you live in starts to face the sun again. At the end of the day, as it gets dark, the part of the world you live in turns away from the sun. So on Earth, we have daytime and nighttime because the Earth spins round and round. dark on a very special day for Amy. It's her birthday and how she's celebrating a trip to the cinema. This massive cinema is one big light show. Amy's sister's straight off to the suites. So what would you like? How about these ones? OK. Hello there, what would you like? Know? The biggest popcorn you've got. It's a birthday. Oh. Happy birthday. Would you like a drink with that? Yeah, just a water, please. Just a water. It's 5.95, please. Come on, guys, Thank we're going to the start of the film. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank you. There are light sources all along the family's path until the cinema screen. I can't see, it's too dark. It's okay, your eyes will get used to it in a little second. Oh, I'll hold you out in the window. Come on. Does this happen to you? When you're going to the darkness, it's hard to see at first. After a minute, your eyes adjust. They let more light in, so you can see okay, even though it's dim. Behind the scenes, there's another very bright light source inside the projector. Mark's checking Amy's film. The film's a long ribbon of pictures. The pictures are pulled past the bright light. The light shines through the film and this makes a picture or image on the screen in the cinema. Amy, put some more corn. I can't see you. But what if something gets between the screen and your eyes? 
can't see. The popcorn container's opaque. No light gets through it, and you can't see the screen. Pass the water. And the bottle? That's translucent. It lets some light through and changes it. The sweet's translucent too. It lets some of the light through. Here's the film that Amy's watching. It's transparent, letting light through to make the image on the screen. And yes, Dad's opaque. No light gets through. Now that's what I call a birthday. Scientists sometimes need to take things apart to find out about them. Carol's going to help us look inside this animal's eye to find out how it works. It's called an eyeball because it's ball-shaped. Right at the back, it's a very important bit, the optic nerve. The optic nerve is the white cord next to Carol's thumb. The optic nerve carries messages from the eye to the brain. Carol's going to carefully cut into the eye. She's cutting through the cornea. It's a window at the front of the eye. But it also helps focus the light to make a picture. Right behind it is the lens, and as she pushes on the eyeball, it pops out. The lens focuses light to make a picture or image that we can see. Right. Let's take a closer look at this lens. So this is what popped out of the front of the cornea when I slit it. Now, when the light passes through it, it bends it and it acts like a magnifying glass. You can see on that text that where I've put the lens, the word looks much bigger. Time to squeeze the eye again. We've got the jelly stuff coming out. Now, this is what gives the eye its shape. You can see it's collapsing now, completely losing its round shape that it started with. There's a lot of runnier liquid with it as well. See, it's clear because the light needs to pass through that to the back of the eye. Oop, there it goes. All right, look at the eye now. The eye is not a ball anymore. The jelly liquid gave the eye its shape. Another couple of cuts and we can see okay. right inside the eye. Right, the back of the eye. Look at the black surface at the back. That's the retina, where the picture or image is made. And this is the front section, where the light passes through. And around the cornea is something that we all have called the iris. The iris surrounds the hole, or pupil at the front of the eye. What I'm going to do now is try and remove the iris from the eye. There we are. Oh, you can see there. So that is the iris and you can see the hole in the middle. The circle of muscles closes up the pupil in bright light and opens it in dim light. So in humans this can be all different colours blue or green or brown. There we are. Carol's a specialist scientist. Don't do experiments like this yourself unless you become a scientist like her. Back in Victorian times, people played tricks on their friends using light. Let's see how they did it. Firstly, they needed a very dark room. Sometimes they'd be built at the seaside. They'd use a big mirror so they could turn the light around corners. And a lens to make a picture or image. In those days, it was called by its Latin name, Camera Obscura. 
camera means room and obscura means dark. Says it all. And this is what happened inside. Light from the outside would come in through the turret. You could turn it round to see different things. The mirror reflected the light down through the lens to make an image. With a whiteboard in just the right place, you could catch an image inside of what was happening outside. With no TV and no PlayStations, this was quite an experience. You could have great fun spying on your friends and all because of a trick of the light. Just how do these girls see a film? And what happens when something opaque, like a box, gets in the way? Here's our scientist, Carol. What we've got is a source of light and a model eye. Now, I'm going to shine the light into the model eye, but to be able to see it clearly, I need the lights off and the smoke machine on. Thank you. So we can see the beam of light. So I'm shining it into the model eye. And this is what happens when we see things. Light travels into our eyes. Not out of our eyes, but into our eyes. Now, if I take a piece of black card and block that beam of light, then it stops the light reaching the eye. So we can't see the torch anymore. Now, if I remove the black card, the light can reach the eye again, and we can see the torch. Let's find out how mirrors work. You can see the light travels from the torch in a straight line, straight out across the room. You can see the light lighting up the smoke in front of it as it passes through it. Now, in front of me, I've got a piece of foil. If I direct the beam of light at the piece of foil, you can see the light travels to the foil and is then reflected off the foil and bounces back up towards the ceiling. This is called reflection. Finally, Carol's got a special light source, a red laser beam. Playing with lasers can be dangerous, so don't do experiments like this yourself unless you become a specialist scientist like Carol. Right, you can see straight away that the light travels in a perfectly straight line. Now, if I place a mirror in front of that beam, the light is reflected vertically towards the ceiling. Now, if I introduce another mirror, let's see what happens. So you can clearly see the path of the light. So you can see that mirrors can change the path of light but that light always travels in a straight line. <laughs>